Good morning and welcome to Daily Journal News Break sponsored by Renaissance Bank. Today is Monday, March 26th, and I'm your host, Chris Kiefer. We're going to take a look at the top news and sports stories from Northeast Mississippi, but first, let's start with your weather forecast. Today, we're looking at partly cloudy skies with a high of 60 and a low of 53. Looking ahead at your three-day outlook Tuesday calls for partly cloudy skies with a high of 66 and a low of 62. And then there's rain in the forecast the next two days. Wednesday, that's a 70% chance of rain with a high of 73 and a low of 59. On Thursday, that rain chance is up to 100%. The high is 66 and the low is 50. Let's take a look now at today's top stories. The Mississippi House refused on Sunday afternoon to pass the budget bill to fund the Mississippi Division of Medicaid. House leaders feared that if they passed the budget, then the Senate leadership would not negotiate on another bill to possible changes to Medicaid's managed care program. The fight over Medicaid occurred as House and Senate leaders worked late Sunday to finalize an overall $6.1 billion state support budget before tonight's deadline. The disagreement centers around whether the Mississippi Hospital Association should be awarded a contract to operate a managed care company for Medicaid recipients. Currently, three private for-profit companies have the contracts. They total more than $2 billion to operate managed care programs where the companies receive a specified amount of money to provide health care for the Medicaid recipients. In general, House members believe the State Hospital Association, which lost in the bid process conducted by the Division of Medicaid, should be awarded the contract. Medicaid provides health care coverage to about 700,000 Mississippians that primarily includes the disabled, poor pregnant women, poor children, and the poor elderly population. As a region, Northeast Mississippi counties are rising toward the top in health rankings within the state. In the 16 county region, seven counties made the top 20 in health outcomes in the annual county health rankings and roadmap released earlier this month by the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation and the University of Wisconsin Public Health Institute. Eight Northeast Mississippi counties made the top 20 in health, factor, in health factors. No counties in the region were among the bottom 22 in the state. The rankings are based on 30 measures gathered from federal and national health data, data sources. Health outcomes include measures for premature death and quality of life based on how healthy people feel. Health factors include measures for health behaviors, clinical care, social and economic factors, and the physical environment. Lafayette County held on to the top spot in the region, ranking number five in both health outcomes and health factors. Union, Pontotoc, Lee, Etiwamba, and Atibaha counties each made the top 20 in both categories. Clay, Chickasaw, Calhoun, and Benton counties had the most health challenges in the region. For the first time, an African American will oversee Mississippi's eight public universities. The Associated Press reports that the State College Board announced Friday that Alfred Rankins Jr. will become Higher Education Commissioner on July 1st when Glenn Boyce retires. Rankins is currently president of Alcorn State University. As commissioner, he will hold a dual role of lobbying lawmakers for money and overseeing operations. The commissioner has become more powerful in recent years as trustees increased the office's sway over university leaders. Rankins previously served as deputy commissioner. After temporarily leading Mississippi Valley State University, Rankins was named in 2014 as permanent president of Alcorn, where he earned his undergraduate degree. A native of Greenville, Rankins received a Bachelor of Science degree from Alcorn State and both a Master of Science and Doctor of Philosophy degrees from Mississippi State. The State College Board will soon announce its plans for the search for the next president at Alcorn State. And in sports, the Mississippi State women's basketball team is headed back to the Final Four. The Bulldogs defeated UCLA 89-73 on Sunday to win the Kansas City Regional. It is the second straight Final Four appearance for the Bulldogs. They will play another top seed, Louisville, on Friday at 6 p.m. in Columbus, Ohio. The game will be televised on ESPN2. Senior Victoria Vivians and junior Tierra McCowan combined for 47 points against the Bruins on Sunday. They split the Kansas City Regional Most Outstanding Player vote. Vivian scored a game-high 24 points on 10 of 17 shooting. McCowan added 23 points and 21 rebounds. Morgan Williams scored 17 points, and Rashenda Johnson added a dozen. MSU defeated North Carolina State 71-57 to on Friday to advance to the regional final. 
And that does it for Newsbreak on this Monday. Don't forget that this show is just one of the many online offerings courtesy of the Daily Journal that gets you news off the page and on the go. Special thanks to Renaissance Bank for sponsoring Newsbreak. And remember, you can catch new episodes each weekday morning at thejournal.com or on our Facebook page. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Kiefer. Have a great Monday.